this video is more of a follow-up to the video we just released about the uh, clay pots and uh, trying to heat the two small sheds we have. Uh, we have decided to upgrade our generator, our small generator, and we went and purchased a brand new 1800 watt Predator from Harbor Freight. Now, I am a fan of Harbor Freight for the most part. Uh, for the price uh, that we got this at, it was $299, uh, but we are side track members, so we did get 15% off. Uh, so for us, this certainly uh, uh, made sense. Uh, we also purchased the uh, two-year warranty on this. So in two years, we'll just return this and get a brand new one. Uh, you gotta love Harbor Freight for that, for that um, service. So basically, we're gonna run this for two years, and then in, for another 60 bucks, I think it was, or 70 bucks, uh, two years we'll get a brand new one um if it's upgraded we'll get the upgraded one uh and uh so yeah so we're pretty confident in in what we got here now this is the second uh generator we will have gotten from harbor freight uh the first one that thing lasted for quite a few years probably five or six years uh, it was one of the tailgaters but it was before they got the tailgaters in and uh, I think now Lowe's sells the one that we had. Um, at any rate, that thing, unfortunately, is uh, we're having some issues with it. And so we went ahead and got this one. So why did we get it? Well, other than the fact of just having a nice smaller generator, uh, you know, we tested using the, the car battery uh, heaters, the car defrosters, that didn't work very well. Uh, we tried using those clay pot heaters. They put out some good heat, but it's certainly not something sustainable. And I don't think it's going to work, you know, when the temperatures get, you know, below freezing, uh, below zero or into the teens. I just don't think there's enough heat. And it certainly doesn't last long enough to keep the shed behind me uh, heated. And then also the, the uh, uh, holding tank shed. So... What we've decided is we're going to run this puppy a couple hours a night when it gets really cold. And these, this guy here is going to be running these BioNair heaters. Now, we have two of these. And so what we're going to do is uh, I am going to get one set up in each shed. Uh, and on the low setting, low setting uh, the usage is only about 300 watts. Now at 50% load, this guy is supposed to, I believe, run about nine and a half hours on a gas, 1.7 gallons of gas. It's a small price to pay to heat these cabins or these sheds for the winter. Uh, it's certainly something that we, we've got to do. We, I mean, it, it is, we, we cannot let the sheds get below freezing for too long. We cannot risk having the, the water pipes uh, inside each of these sheds uh, uh, freeze. So that's what we're gonna do uh, right now. I am simply working on a base, and uh, what I'm sitting on <laughs> is actually the old, uh, it's the old stairs uh, for the back porch that we had, uh, that we've since replaced. So uh, I've got it all leveled out. Uh, I'm going to attach the generator, I think, um, to the boards. Uh, but before I do that, I have to build some sort of uh, cover over this. Uh, I don't want the rain and the snow uh, you know, sitting on top of this thing. We want to make sure that it's covered uh, and ready for when we need it. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do just yet. Uh, what I was thinking is about just simply putting a 2x4 here and then uh, uh, attach a couple of 2x4s here, a stringer across the two, and then putting some tin on it. Uh, that'll at least give it a little bit of break from the, the, the rain and snow. And then it also lets me put a, a small, you know, a, a can of gas there, uh, just in the event that I need to fill this puppy up. Okay, so with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and build this little cover, this little awning, and then we'll fire this puppy up. We'll run the heater. And let's see what happens. Sunk has got something going on out here. Let's go find out. This is why we love having the dogs out here. You can see he caught something, either in the wind or whatnot. 
our dogs are not fighters. We, we don't want them engaging with other animals out here. Uh, if they do, okay, not much we can do about it. But most importantly, this is exactly why we have them. Uh, and this is why I highly recommend that anybody who's going to be uh, uh, living this lifestyle or is living this lifestyle has to have dogs. This is what they're good for, at least in our opinion. Um, they let us know when there are things going on around us. And uh, for that reason, they are worth their weight in gold. Alright, so this is about as pieced together as I can get. Uh, perfect? Absolutely not. Will it work? Absolutely. I'm keeping the rain and uh, keeping the snow off of the generator. So, Alright, let's put it together. started on that generator and uh, let's get that thing running. So now we have the generator up and running and uh it's been running for a few days and uh we figured out exactly how we're going to keep everything warm so let me show you what we've got going on so in our pump shed we've got a 125 watt heat lamp that's uh connected and that keeps this room at about 35 to 40 degrees depending on how cold it is out here so for our pump shed which is holds the holding tank and then the 12 volt uh, pump that pumps pressure into the cabin uh, for this guy we have two things we can use 
Um, on those not so cold days, we are using a 125 watt, whoop, let me show you here, 125 watt uh, heat lamp. And uh, this thing keeps it about 44 degrees. Yesterday it got up to 52 with the temperatures uh, being warmer out here. Uh, and it works great uh, in the event, uh, especially when it's going to get you know below zero we also have a 300 and 600 watt uh, electric heater and so the idea here is that if the temperature gets below zero um and i can't the 125 watt heat lamp isn't <clears throat> pumping out enough heat to keep it warm all we got to do is throw that uh, electric heater on uh with on, on the low setting, uh, with five degrees outside, I can keep that room at about 50 degrees. So that's perfect. Uh, depending on, you know, again, depending on what the temperature is outside, we're either going to use the heat lamp or the, the heater. Now let's go take a look at our battery, ba our battery box. Now with the battery box, uh, we've, we're right now we're sitting at about 49 degrees. Um, but I've had this light off for a little while. So we've got a 60 watt bulb there and a 60 watt bulb over there that I pulled out. Uh, I didn't need to need it last night. Uh, and so again, you know, having these 60 watt bulbs in here and all the modifications we made, uh, this battery bank, we're able to keep this thing nice and toasty, uh, for these batteries. Um, that's one way of using your head. So all in all, we are really, really happy with what we've got going on here. Uh, now, let's do some math. Okay, so the battery bank uses, let's call it 120 watts, because we're running two 60-watt light bulbs. The, uh, uh, the well pump shed, or the well shed that we're now calling it, uh, this runs 125 watts. Now, the thing about the well shed is that we don't have any sitting water in there. So technically, you don't really need to worry about keeping it uh, too warm because the water that is in the, the line that transfers over to the holding tank, all that water drains into the well. So we don't have a check valve at the bottom of our well. So when the well pump turns off, all the water drains out. So uh, but be that as it may, let's call it 125 watts in here. In the uh, the uh, pump shed, or holding tank shed, uh, that's running 125 watts as well. So one, two, 365 watts is what we're running to heat these three sheds. Um, now, we're using this little generator to do that, and it works great. We go through about a gallon and a half to two gallons uh, a day if we run it um, all night. During the day though, we're running off of our solar. Uh, especially with sun, I can pump out, you know, 2,500 watts um, peak sun on my solar. So we don't have a problem uh, maintaining uh, enough power. As a matter of fact, last night we ran till about 10 o'clock last night um, on our solar. Uh, it, it's not a big deal. Uh, it's not a lot of wattage coming out of our battery bank. Um, and again, the generator is really just as kind of a backup uh, to make sure that we have, um, you know, enough power to, to, to heat everything up. So, well, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, be sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.